What is going on, my Super Saiyan, which is Ron here, and today we're playing both Japanese Dokkan as well as Global. The reason why I decided to play both is because, well, as you may have noticed, that Japanese version once again has got an update way ahead of Global. Just when we finally get the new awesome, or what's awesome and new to us, Shampa Beerus Vados Wii screen, Japan decides to get rid of theirs, and it moved over to this amazing uh, Dragon Ball Super Goku Black Future Trunks arc animated background this is absolutely beautiful look at that it's incredible so what i decided what i decided to do today is we actually have a brand new banner in the japanese version and i've been actually trying to farm what the hell? why i don't know why in the last couple of days every time i record oh, a hair always flew into my mouth that's can, can it not anyways um there's a brand new banner that's currently available in the japanese version of the game now i managed to farm 25 stones uh i've been trying to do these harder quests and oh my gosh you're getting more tougher and tougher like right now i'm on stage 18 and it's gone to the point where i'm actually dying a lot <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and take my time farming those but the, the big challenge is since the anniversary event is over in japan i don't get the, the 3x xp boost which was really helpful last time the reason why i was able to farm stone so fast uh, last week in this game is because all i have to do is complete these quests like two or three times and then bam my stand was refilled but now that it's back to regular XP again, it's like kind of slow and laggy. So what I decided to do today is, today is going to be a two-part video. Part one of the video is me going to be doing these new summons with the new Gotenks banner. And then part two is we're going to jump into global and then do a check-in on the tournament. Because as you guys know, today is the last day for a tournament. Get those wins. But we'll talk about that later. So to those who only want to see the summons, uh, feel free to watch this first half. To those who only want to see the tournament, go to the second half. And to those who want to watch this, watch the whole thing. You're already doing it. <laughs> so without further ado, let's see if I can get something good with these five summons. Unfortunately, I only have 25. I was hoping to get 50. Now I regret spending those last 40 stones in my last summon video. So the first one is we have this Gotenks. Super Saiyan Gotenks. Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, excuse me. It's finally here and he has uh, die die missiles. Ooh, this is, this is actually my first time watching this. I have not seen these attacks yet. That was pretty cool. From my, from my understanding, there's several new cards. Uh, yeah, so there's all of these... New ones, and they all Dokkan Awaken. I know when you Dokkan Awaken, I think one of these, it has Super Ghost Kamikaze. And uh, let's just look at all of them. So we have this Beerus, which is already, we guys have already seen. That Cell. Uh, here's the, the Gotenks. I kind of want this Gotenks. I don't know why. I like the Super Ghost Kamikaze uh, Super Attack. It looks really, really cool. Although I'm kind of disappointed that they didn't take advantage of using Attack All as an ability for Gotenks. They should have done that. Like, think about it. You make an army of Super Ghosts, it's supposed to attack everybody. You guys have already seen him. You've already seen him, him. And then these are basically just, you know, repeats and stuff. Also, by the way, these two now are useful because if we go into the character screen, into the Dokkan Awaken section down here, actually, that Goten and Trunks that everybody's been throwing away in Global, do not throw them away anymore. Save them because when we scroll all the way... This is so laggy. When we scroll all the way down here, they actually all Dokkan Awaken into a Gotenks. So that goes in and wow, there's a lot of freaking uh, awakenings in uh, the Japanese version. Let's scroll all the way down. Did I just pass it? Uh, nope. Let's scroll, let's scroll all the way down because I assume. Yeah, there it is. So no, no, just kidding. It's this one. So there is one right here. Whoops. This Goten um, turns into that Gotenks. And then there's also a Trunks version as well, which is up here. Turns into that Gotenks. So to those who have been throwing these Goten and Trunks away, don't. Max them out, save them, and then wait for it to come out in global. To those who want to play a Japanese version of the game, well, collect them again. Um, man, it's actually a pretty big Gotenks update. There's a lot of stuff that they released. Like, look, look at all this. 77 medals again. Wow, I guess it has to be the new trend. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, I've already talked way too much. Let's go ahead and jump in and do these five summons real fast and see if I can get lucky with just five summons. Now, I will point out that this banner right now had a slight uh, decrease compared to its previous rate. Brrr, the last banner was steadily about 8.8, 8.5 to 9% for uh, all of the banners. So this is the Dragon Ball Super banner. But what's been going on right now in Japan with this new Dokkan Festival, they actually decreased it from 8.5% uh, to 6.5%. If you guys remember, right now the big uh, controversy is due to the fact that the Japanese version of the game has higher rates. Well, it's funny because they just dropped the, the Dokkan Festival to 6.5%, while Global is still hovering at 5% altogether. So, I don't know, it's interesting to see that they dropped it. I mean, again, it's not about the uh, the percentage rate being low, which, I mean, everybody wants it higher, let's be real here. 
but uh, it's about the fact that Japan and global always have to have different rates, which is always what's bugged everybody. So, I don't know. I mean, I think they just decreased it solely because due to the fact that this is a new banner, it's a Dokkan festival. But, uh, I don't know. I'm still waiting for them to kind of get to the middle and just kind of do it all like the same uh, level of rates, whatever. And also to note, all the other games like uh, One Piece, Treasure Cruise. Wow, these are some boo-boo summons so far. One Piece, Treasure Cruise, Hunter Hunter Battle, All-Stars, uh, Bleach, Brave Sauce, all have like a 1 to 2 to 3% SSR rates. So, even though Dokkan is low... Compared to other games, it's not that low. So, yeah. But again, the, the big dilemma is due to the fact that, literally, they have it low in uh, global. Well, they have it lower in global than Japan. And until we get to the point where it's equal, that's kind of like what we're fighting for. Swipe! Come on, I gotta get something. Uh, wow, man, the rares! The rares! I'm already affecting the lower rate, even though it's only like a 1.5% lower rate as opposed to last time. But, hey. An 8% rate is what got me all those SSRs in a Dragon Ball Super banner off of like 60 stones. So, I don't know. Maybe this last summon or these last two summons is going to be something good. At least give me the Goten and Trunks that Dokkan awakens into Gotenks. Maybe. Wow. Literally give me nothing. Oh, gosh. Oh. 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 Hmm. Yikes. Ah, this is terrible. This, is, this, is the, this just turned to Dragon Ball Z Despair Battle. Last summer, then we're going to jump into uh, Global so we can do a check-in on the tournament and... Okay, so two pods. <sighs> Swipe. Oh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is our chance. Remember, every time I do the last summon, the last summon is always the lucky one. So maybe, maybe, maybe this is going to be something good. Pfft, uh, technically, I mean, <laughs> I think this is the one that Dokkan Awakens, is it? No, it's not the one that Dokkan Awakens. It's not even the one that Dokkan Awakens! Let me just double check, because I'm pretty sure it was the one that was really, really annoying. The one that's both Goten and Trunks flying. Those are the Dokkan Awakenable uh, cards. But I will double check. I will double check. God, this is so loud. There we go. They have so many Dokkan uh, Awakening cards. Yeah, it's not the one. This is... Yeah, it's it's definitely not the one. Okay, that, that's fantastic. So, Boo Boo Summits, but that's okay, because... I don't know. I just... I, I grinded all day for those stones to get nothing. Now I know how some people feel. Anyway, so I'm going to get back to grinding in that game as soon as the, the tournament is over. But for now, let's hop over to Global. So we'll be right back. All right, let's see what we can do. Let's go ahead and jump into the tournament. So as of right now, uh, Monday at 6.52 p.m., which is yesterday when I was recording this video, I am sitting at 80 wins, which I accomplished actually the second day. Around the second day, by the end of the night, I got to 80 wins. And I just kind of took it easy the last two days, honestly. I, I played here and there. And remember, my goal was to stand within the 2500 rank. So the one I'm going for is, oops, not that one. The one I'm going for actually is this ranking right now. This one right here, between 1000 and 2500. And what I decided to wait on, instead of going crazy all day today, which was yesterday for you guys when you're watching this video, I decided I'm just going to go ahead and uh, wait until the last day. I still have my 12 stones that I have left from earning them. These are all earned stones, by the way. None of these are bought. All earned stones from the tournament. And... I'm just firing the preliminaries. Uh, to those who are new to that, essentially all you have to do is jump into the preliminaries, you beat the three guys, the other people in the round, and then you retire. That's it. Just do that over and over again. Uh, you accumulate points a lot faster. You save stamina as well because it only costs 10 stamina to do it. And it's by far the best thing to do because no one wants to keep redoing the wins after you complete uh, you know, the first 80 wins. Because after 80, it just becomes redundant and it drains stamina really, really fast. On top of that, you don't get as many points. So let's see what we can do here. We got this. Uh, okay, let's attack you. Can take this. Uh, let's swap you. Come on, swap. There we go. Uh, you can attack Goku. And hopefully, we can actually... Oh, this is going to be a good setup, actually. We can do... Mm, actually, no, you know what? We don't need to do that. I can just do... Yeah, let's just do this. Where's uh, Gogeta? There you go. Destroy Gogeta. So all you're going to literally just do here is just... Keep winning the preliminaries and win. So everybody who's uh, left, um, who's already passed 80 wins, if you want to stay at least in the top whatever rank, just keep doing this over and over again. To those who have no chance at getting 80 wins, but today at least you can just farm the preliminaries. So just do your best to get as many points because if you can't get the 80 wins, at least you can rank up and get a gold SSR ticket. And then Broly! Broly Kakarot! <coughs> don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Kakarot... Uh, not Kakarot, but Broly's gonna, I'm about to sneeze. You ever, like, try to, uh, do Broly's voice so hard that you, like, had to sneeze? Almost, yeah, that just happened to me. Yeah, so this is literally all I've been doing. Uh, so what I'm going to do today, when you're watching this video, from start to finish, I'm going to basically do 
preliminaries all day and I'm gonna go try ahead and use all my stones that I have left so like I said at the time you recording this is 12 stones and see if I can at least get into the top 1000 because if I get in the top 1000 instead of three other cards I get four uh, otherwise my goal which was to be within the top 2500 was going to only give me three other cards so that's kind of what I'm going for let's see what I can do here mm. all right here we go uh, oh did he destroyed the other person for me the trick also is if you run into the bonus teams like the God Rush team, the females team, the Kura team, uh, the Frieza team, the whatever theme team, you want to make sure you go after them first because you don't want the computer to get those points. Uh, all right, what we got? Wow, this is going to be easy. Uh, let's go ahead and do. Let's swap. Okay, yeah, swap you, and swap you. Uh, we'll go after him first, and then uh, these are both okay. Screw it, doesn't matter. Let's kill let's kill you, I guess, because it's going to be over anyways. And then you can kill Frieza for us, and that's going to be victory. So, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, in the comment section below, I want you guys to basically tell me your current rank, how far you made it so far, and what you were actually going for. And after you comment, I want you to keep going for your goals. If you are achieved your goals, well, then I guess just sit back and maintain being in the top whatever rank you were going for. But tomorrow... Whenever, or I guess whenever the game updates and we get our rewards, there's going to be some awesome summonings that's going to happen. So actually, let me just go ahead and back out of this, because there was actually an error, too, that was addressed uh, yesterday, I believe, which is today for me. It's always so weird when I'm talking about the days, because like I always talk as if it's the next day when you're watching this, but I'm recording in the past. It's confusing. Tokitobashi. Alright, the time leap. Here, let's go ahead and just get out of this real fast. So this is what I'm talking about. After you continue, hit retire up here, it's going to say, hey, if you retire, you'll get this many points. Are you okay with that? Yes, and bam. Now I can redo that and go back into the preliminaries. I'm going to keep doing that until I can get my rank up to something better than that. Uh, again, my goal is 2,500, but I'm going to go for a top 1,000 now, starting all day today when you're watching this. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. Uh, if you go into the news section, you'll notice, or you might not have noticed, that uh, there was actually an error. For beating the... Uh, whoops. It's over here. Yeah. For beating the world tournament 60 times, you were supposed to get two silver SSR tickets. Well, you were supposed to get three, but they gave out two. So now, to so those who all uh, managed to get at least 60 wins, you essentially got five SSR tickets. Meaning, uh, or oh, five silver tickets. Meaning, when you go into the summon section over here, you will notice. Well, you won't notice yet. You might only have four. But uh, at some point in the next day, they're going to give you another one of these down here. So I already have five because I had one left over from last one. But uh, when they send out the, the rewards for um, this tournament, you're going to also get a free SSR ticket to those who beat the tournament uh, 60 times. So to those who are getting close, at least get to 60. Because if you get to 60, you'll get three tournament tickets on top of uh, the two that you got at like 40 wins, I believe. And then you'll be able to at least one of these golden SSR summons or guaranteed SSR summons. And then, of course, if you get to 80 wins, you get two of these bad boys. And if you get to uh, the top, I believe, 10,000 it was. Let's just double check. You will get another Golden SSR ticket. Meaning, I get to do four GSSR summons later this week. As well as whoever else got into that criteria. So, yeah, this is this is basically the rewards. And, again, if you go into the top 1,000, you get one, one, one. Basically, you just have to be, you just have to be in the top 10,000 to get a GSSR ticket. So, grind. This is mostly meant to be a PSA to keep grinding because... The next 24 hours or 12 hours or whatever hours left uh, that you're in this tournament is going to be, it's going to matter a lot. So get to it, and I hope that everybody achieves the goal that they're going for. Again, with me, this is my goal, but you know what? I'm going to push for this because I want that extra Elder Kai that I can feed to my Gogeta and get a, a super attack up to 8 instead of 4. But whatever, you know, I'm going to keep going. Anyways, uh, I'll see you guys in the next couple days for my GSSR summons. Hopefully, we can get some good stuff to kind of show you what's available um, let's go down here. My fingers are crossed that I can get... I want him. Definitely want him. I already have him. I don't want him. I don't want him. Definitely don't want the androids. Don't want him. Don't want him. Don't want him. I already have him. Definitely don't want him. Um, I mean, there's, there's a full list over here. I think the main one that I want is that Int Vegito. But I also wouldn't mind getting the physical Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta, which I cannot pull. As well as, I wouldn't mind getting the Super Saiyan uh, God, Red Hair, Goku, the Jilly one that came out a long time ago that I could never get. Also, matter of fact, I wouldn't mind getting Mera because he's also in this as well. So, fingers crossed there. You know, I wish you guys much luck too of, you know, getting the cards that you guys want. But we'll see what happens when I do my GSSR summons later this week. But, yeah. If you enjoyed today's half summon, half tournament check-in video, make sure you leave a like right below if you're hyped for uh, the summon video as well. Then feel free to just comment down. Here, I want you guys to do this. To those who will be doing GSSR summons, I want you to comment down below 
what card you want to pull. And this you can like kind of put it out there in the universe. Again, if you ride it out, put it out in the universe, good stuff will happen to you. Uh, and just, just a reminder, they don't have Gogeta or Janimba in this banner, as well as Super Saiyan 3 Agility Goku, I think. I might be wrong. I mean, the full character list is right here, and Gogeta's not in it. Unfortunately, he's a Dokkan Festival exclusive, and from what I understand, the Festival exclusives are exclusive to the festivals. Oh, look at that. Drop rate difference for each character. Well, obviously, you know. Uh, I wonder what the actual rates for these are. I gotta check this out. I wonder if they even have rates for this, because it'd be hard to set up a uh, rates machine for this because you can't just keep re-rolling for it but whatever anyways uh comment down below what gssr you want to pull or um ssr card i should say you want to pull as well as anything else you pulled in your summons or whatever and again keep an eye out for a gssr summon video later this week but other than that i hope you guys enjoyed the rest of your day my name is rob Stott, and i'll see all y'all super sandwiches in the comment section below peace